I think it, I, I was elated, I was excited um, because from the time we saw the draw, I thought this was the best draw we've ever had in the history of women's football. Uh, I think it's good for coaches LeBron as, as, as a female coming out of the of, of, of the program and now being the head coach of, of, of the team and, and, and being the one to create history. I think there's a wonderful moment for us. I think we're definitely competing. We've passed through the stage where we participated and credited Jack Warner. And, and really, this is not a paid political announcement, but he kept uh, women's football alive by ensuring that we participated in every CONCACAF tournament. You know, we are the only country in the entire CONCACAF that has participated in every women's tournament. Now we see the team have reached to the point where we could compete. And, 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 and this is an interesting moment. The next stage is being able to qualify. And I think, you know, when, when you look at we we may have to play either uh, Costa Rica or, or, or Jamaica, you know, for that final round. I think our chances are as good as any. Well, a lot of the girls in this squad played on them, Mr. Pellerud, and a lot of credit to him for the work he put in over the four-year period that he was here when we hosted the, 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 the Women's World Cup in, in, in 2010. So a lot of the girls in that squad now form the nucleus of this under-20 team. And I think they, they understand the big, the big game atmosphere. I think they, they, they have the kind of aggression and, and passion and determination. And, and you know, I'm very, very excited about the chances. I'm not really totally satisfied with the direction of women's football because women's football remain the outside child of the now football association. You know, uh, it's everything else first and the women's last. It has always been like that. But, you know, uh, in Islam we say paradise lies at the feet of the mother. And, and, and it's very difficult. A lot of these players, especially the senior players, have made tremendous sacrifices in their life to represent Trinidad and Tobago. We have all kind of female activists who are running all over the place, ringing bell, doing this, doing that. What are they saying for the women who give up their time and their effort for sport in this country?